Hi, this is Brett from Newfangled Audio to tell you about our new chaotic synthesizer, Pendulate. Pendulate is a unique sounding synth with a lot of character. The focus of Pendulate is its chaotic oscillator based on the physics of a double pendulum. The chaos amount and chaos shape controls allow you to coax an extraordinary range of new textures from this module. Just like a double pendulum, this chaotic oscillator has two legs. We'll call them the root and the chaos. When chaos amount is zero, we only hear the root leg, and the chaotic oscillator will output a sine wave at the keyed note. But when it's raised, the sound of the chaotic leg will come in until it's the only one you hear at 100. This action can be seen on the visualization behind the controls. When chaos shape is zero, the chaotic leg will be a sine wave at the interval to the keyed note. But as it's turned up, the dynamics of the chaotic system will take over and create overtones, instabilities, and even gritty noise. These two controls control a range of possibilities and are the heart of this new method of synthesis. The animate control detunes the chaotic leg with respect to the root leg and has the effect of animating the sound. The oscillator sync button will apply a type of soft sync to the chaotic leg, creating more harmonics and shifting the perceived fundamental down an octave. Additionally, there are sub oscillators one and two octaves below the root note. After the chaotic oscillator is a wave folder modeled after the one found in the Bukla 259 complex oscillator. A wave folder is a special type of distortion circuit that folds the waveform back on itself, creating a large number of harmonics. The drive control pushes the level into the wave folder. You'll need more drive to get more folds. The folds control allows you to set the number of stages, creating the number of folds. This doesn't need to be a whole number, allowing for a variety of intermediate shapes and sounds. The mix control fades between the folded signal and dry. Symmetry allows an offset of the wave folder. This powerful control can be used to add or remove even harmonics from the output and sounds great when modulated. Finally, the cutoff control sets the cutoff of a low pass filter placed after the wave folder, controlling how bright it is. The final stage in the Pendulate voice is the Low Pass Gate, which is a combination VCA and Low Pass filter developed by Don Bukla. They are revered for having a very natural sound, and this one adds a lot of control as well. The frequency knob sets the natural cutoff frequency of the Low Pass Gate, but the frequency is also controlled by the envelope signal. The resonance control adds resonance to the Low Pass Gate when the poles are higher than one. Finally, the poles control changes how much attenuation is applied to the high frequencies and how much resonance is applied. The low pass gate is controlled by a combination of an ADSR and your playing. The ADSR has the standard attack, decay, sustain, and release controls, but you can also allow the low pass gate to be modulated by the note pitch using the key track knob, the note on velocity using the velocity knob, and when MPE is active, the note pressure using the pressure knob. When pressure is 100, the ADSR is out of the circuit and the low pass gate is entirely under MPE control. Every parameter in Pendulate can be modulated by any combination of the modulation outputs in the modulation section. To route modulation, simply click the plus button under any control and the modulation outputs will turn into little knobs representing the amount of modulation from this output to the selected input. Clicking these knobs will toggle them to full scale, or clicking and dragging them will set an intermediate or negative value. Once you've dialed in a value, you can toggle between that value and off by repeatedly clicking the knob. If you right-click the knob or set it to zero, the route will disappear from the UI. Alternatively, you can start a route by clicking on a modulation output. This will make the corresponding knob appear under each control. These little knobs behave the same way as the ones that appear on the modulation outputs. Clicking the modulation output again will make unrouted knobs disappear. Finally, you can see existing modulation cables by hovering your mouse over a modulation output or by turning on Show Cables in the Settings menu. 
Pendulate has three modulation sections, the Global Source, an ADSR, and an LFO. The Global section has modulation outputs for note on velocity, mod wheel, heat track, pressure, and timbre. Timbre is assignable from any MIDI CC, but when mapped to MIDI CC 74 on an MPE controller will give you the Y-axis modulation. Additionally, the global section contains a control for the bass octave of the synth, a stereo switch, a pitch bend amount, a legato switch, and a portamento time. The Always button underneath the portamento time controls whether the applied portamento is always active or only when you're playing a legato note. Similar to a modular synth, the ADSR section simultaneously creates three different modulation output signals. A full ADSR signal controlled by the attack, decay, sustain, and release sliders, an AD with no sustain, which only follows the attack and decay sliders, think of this like a muted pluck, and an ASR signal, which uses the attack and release time, but always sustains at full level as long as the note is being held on. By routing these different but simultaneous signals to multiple controls, you can create expressive sounds that wouldn't otherwise be available. The LFO takes a similar approach, giving you just two controls with five simultaneous outputs. Set the LFO rate in either beats or hertz, but route a sine, triangle, square, sawtooth, and ramp wave to any combination of controls you desire. This simple but flexible technique allows for up to 221 simultaneous routes. The final stage in Pendulate is the output level. A dedicated output limiter sits after the output level control so you don't have to worry about cranking it up. In addition to loading and saving presets, there are some settings in the top bar of Pendulate. Toggling the MPE button will enable the MIDI MPE mode and MPE specific controls. To use MPE, you must have an MPE compatible controller and plug-in host. Hitting the random button will randomize the plug-in settings. This is great for finding inspiration. The settings page contains a number of additional controls. The rendering button will turn the OpenGL engine on and off. After toggling this button, you must close and open the UI for it to take effect. The visualizations button will turn the animations behind each set of controls off if you find them annoying. The Show Controls button will turn the controls off, allowing you to vibe out watching the visualizations only. The Show Cables button will always show modulation routings in case you want them to be easily viewed. The Pitch Bend Lock button will lock the pitch bend control so that it's a consistent setting between presets. And the Timbre MIDI CC knob will allow you to set which MIDI CC number is being routed to the Timbre modulation output. Finally, you can change the default settings of Pendulate to any preset you'd like by replacing the preset in the 00 default preset folder in the Pendulate preset directory. We hope you enjoy Pendulate and share all the wonderful music you make with us.